Welcome to the online worship service for Timonium United Methodist Church. We thank you for joining us, and we hope that as a result, you'll be greatly blessed. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, and cover yourself with light as with a garment. You have stretched out the heavens like a tent and have laid the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot and ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they fled. At the sound of your thunder, they took to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys, to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. Above the springs, the birds of the air have their nests. They sing among the branches. From your lofty place, you water the mountains. With the fruit of your work, the earth is satisfied. Let us pray. O oh God, the Holy Spirit, come to us and among us. Come as the wind and cleanse us. Come as the fire and burn. Come as the dew and refresh. Convict, convert, and consecrate many hearts and lives to our great good and to thy greater glory. And this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. And all God's people said, Amen. The first scripture today is uh, from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4 and 14 through 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, they are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Our gospel reading is taken from the book of John, chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. Please rise as you are able to do so. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. 
the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.